Hey guys, in this series of videos, I'm going to be showing you an exercise or a series of exercises called foot and ankle function sequence. And I'm going to start off by explaining to you everything that you're going to need for this sequence. So first off, you'll need a chair. As you can see, I'm using this block. Basically, whatever you sit on should be the right height for you so that when you sit, your knees and hips are at 90 degrees. Next thing that you're going to need is a block, and if you don't have a block, something about six inches wide, you're going to want to use a folded towel, a pillow off of your couch, maybe even a shipping box, something that's relatively light that you can place between your knees and that you can squeeze and release. You're going to need a strap, something that's not stretchy. So if you don't have a strap like this, this is just a yoga strap, you can use a belt, and basically whatever you use, it should be taut and not stretchy. And then finally, you're going to need a slant board. Now, if you don't have a slant board, you can rig something up like this. In the past, I've, I've used um, just a piece of wood propped up against something like maybe a dumbbell so you can get creative. For this first position, number one, I have the slant board set to, let's see here, so 25 degrees is the angle that I have here that I'm going to be using for position number one. So for position number one, you're going to need the chair, the slant board, and the block. So we can go ahead and set the strap off to the side. The way you're going to want to set yourself up for this is by um, placing your slant board so that it's angled going down. So the small angle is away from your chair. And you're going to want to bring it up pretty close to your chair. Now you're going to put your feet on the slant board, and when you sit here, the, the knee joint should be about two inches above the hip joint. Now you're going to want to go ahead and take your block. You're going to put it between your knee joints. And you're going to want to measure your feet uh, to be about five or six inches between your heels with your feet slightly pigeon-toed. Now from here, the key action is going to be to relax your lower back and to actually slouch back into that position. Okay, so once you're relaxed and you should feel like you're slouching, the key is that the pelvis is actually rolling back to create more of a rounding position in the lower back. Okay, now once you're there, you're going to press and release against your block using your inner thigh muscles 20 times. So here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you should feel this in your inner thigh muscles. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so now you're gonna press against your block with constant pressure, keeping constant pressure against the block you're going to lift and lower your toes using the muscles of the front sides of your lower legs to do the lifting. And make sure that when you lift with your toes that you're lifting all five toes on each side evenly at the same time. So we're going to go through 20 lifts, still keeping the constant pressure on your block and consciously making sure to relax that lower back and to keep the pelvis slumped back in that slouched position. So I have, I'm on a count of five, six, and we're going to go to 20. Seven, eight, remembering to really use those lower leg muscles to do the lifting. And remember to keep the squeezing on the block. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now keep the constant pressure on your block. This time lift the heels off the block using the muscles on the back sides of your lower legs and gently and slowly return the heels back to, excuse me, back to the slant board. So again, lift the heels off the slant board and then bring those heels back. This is two out of 20, three, 
Now at the same time, we're making sure to continue to maintain constant pressure against that block. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that you're really getting some height here, really getting those heels up off that slant board. 10, 11, continuing to squeeze that block. 12, and remembering to continue to slouch. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Whew. Go ahead and relax. That was position number one. Please be sure to, uh, to visit my video sequence here where I'm going to show you positions one through four. So I'll see you in my next video.